An embroidery business is all about the embroidery design. So let's take a look how you open, print and export your embroidery designs in Woolcom Embroidery Studio Digital Edition. Let's start with opening an embroidery design. And there are several ways to open an embroidery design. And it can vary depending whether you are opening a rich Woolcom.env file that contains all the objects, outlines, thread colors, and the original information of the file, or whether you're opening a stitch file like a Baradin DSB or a Tajima TBF. Let's start with opening a Woolcom EMB file. And the easiest and quickest way to do that is to use the open icon on your toolbar or go to File, Open Design. In the open dialog box, you can see your designs that are viewed on screen. If they open up as a list file or smaller icons, you can adjust the icon size using the standard Windows icon selection option. And from the drop down list on the right side, you can choose the file format you want to open. In this case, we're opening a Woolcom all in one design.emb file. And then simply select the design and click open. Now, as a EMB file, this is a rich object file, meaning I can zoom in and I can reshape my design because it's an original EMB with all the objects and all the colors in place. And I can make any changes I want, including stitch settings, underlay and other options. But what if it was not a Wacom.emb file without all those rich objects and outlines? What if it was a stitch file like a Baradin DSB or a Tajima TBF? Well, again, we can go up to the open icon and from our drop down list, we can change it to choose the exact stitch file format or just choose all machine files and select the stitch file and click open. Now, Wacom will bring in that stitch file and display it on screen, but stitch files are not rich object files. They're just stitches for the machine. So in some cases, when you try to reshape that design, you don't have objects, but you have individual stitches, which almost makes reshaping impossible. But with Woolcom Embroidery Studio Digital Edition, we have a special option that when you open a stitch file, you can ask Woolcom to recognize it as objects that you can reshape and adjust the stitch settings. And this is how you do it. Let me just close that file, not save my changes, then go back to open. Again, choose your file format. In this case, I'm doing all machine files and I have my TBF stitch file. Then select options and check object slash outlines. This will allow Wilcom to look for those stitch patterns and identify potential objects and outlines and convert those stitches into editable objects and outlines. Then click OK and click open. Now the design has come in and it looks pretty much the same as it was before, but this time if I zoom in and use my reshape tool and click on the object outline, instead of having individual stitches, I now have an editable shape, almost as if I originally digitized it, where I can reshape or adjust settings such as stitch spacing as well. As a quick tip, if you make any changes to your file, be it a stitch file or the embroidery EMB file, make sure you go to file, save or save as, and save it as a rich Wilcom.emb file before you export it to a stitch file. This will maintain all your objects and edits for future use. Another way to open your design into Wilcom Embroidery Studio is the design library feature, which is this icon here on your toolbar. When selected, it takes you directly to the design library. And from here, you can browse your folders on your computer and see thumbnails of your design. The way library works is when you select a top level folder, it shows every design in that folder and all the below subfolders as well. As you select on each folder, it filters to show only the designs in that folder and all the below subfolders until eventually you select the directory you're looking for and it will only show you the designs in that folder. To open a design, simply double click the icon. Next, we will explore the various printing options for your embroidery design. Welcome Embroidery Studio has different print layouts for different purposes or needs. Start by opening your design.
Then from the toolbar, select Print Preview. By default, the production worksheet will appear. The production worksheet contains a one scale view of your design, the design information including height, number of colors and stitches, more technical detail on the side including required fabric, stabilizer, trim stops and machine type, plus the stop sequence showing the threads, the thread code, and the name and sequence of its sewing on the machine. Some designs can also have needle assignment, meaning a color has been predefined to a particular needle number. In this design's example, color number one is needle number two, murky green. Color number two is needle number three, pale yellow. Then color number three is again needle number two, murky green. And finally, the fourth color is needle number one, brick red. To access other print options, select the options icon. And from here, you can choose the different printing methods available, including the approval sheet, production summary, and the color film. Let's explore each of these print options. The artwork approval sheet is a simple one scale view of your design with some basic information that you can provide to your customer for approval. With this sheet, you can print, save it as a PDF, or email it directly to your customer. The next printable sheet is the production worksheet. This sheet is designed for your machine operator. It contains a one scale view of the design, the color sequence, and information that a machine operator needs to stitch that design. The next printable sheet is the color film. This sheet will break up the design into the individual color stops, which can be very useful for your machine operator. They can see all the embroidery components that are stitched in a particular color and in the color sequence. In this case, color two, color three, back to color two, and finally, color number one. And this final sheet is your production summary. The production summary gives a high level overview of that design in the selected and available colorways. Now, Wacom Embroidery Studio lets you create a design in multiple colorways for different types of garments. So if you had more than one type of garment that requires different types of colors, they can be displayed on this sheet for your operator to configure the correct colors for the garment that they're sewing on the machine. Each of these worksheets can be printed, saved as a PDF or emailed as a PDF and can be displayed in a landscape or portrait mode. You can also configure the layout and display options of your various printable sheets, in this case, the production worksheet. Under the options button, I have the control to turn on and off various options on my sheet. For example, if I don't use barcode, I can turn that off. And under the information block, if I find this information too detailed and overwhelming, I can just have a short information or just simply show the stop sequence. By customizing your printable worksheets, you can have the right information that your team need to produce that embroidery design. Now let's explore exporting your design for the embroidery machine. Start by opening your original Wilcom.emd file. With your design open, now select the export icon on the toolbar or under file, export machine file. In the dialog box from the drop down list, select the save as type, such as Tajima DST. Then select save. Your design has now been exported to the stitch file format of your choice. Thank you.